this video I just would like to talk about therapeutic decision making exam uh, since I um, discovered that there are no much information about this exam so therapeutic decision making test um, I have content for this presentation and it's more about what you need to know about this test and it's uh, summarized in four points so what is this test and how to apply for it and how to prepare for it and lastly what is the best or what is the test outcome so TDM what is it TDM is a therapeutic decision making test it's one of the prerequisites by practice readiness assessment programs in Canada for family physicians in order to start their assessment their clinical assessment so basically some of the authorities uh, that um, in some of the provinces in Canada that do practice readiness assessment they have preset criteria, and these criteria, uh, one of them is to get through the therapeutic decision making test before doing the clinical uh, assessment so this test is three hours total computer-based test and it it only has one session and it's a written exam test so three hours and computer based and written exam it's prepared by the medical council of canada mcc and it's delivered through prometric exam centers so the exam content is basically written through the mcc but the exam is actually conducted uh, via the prometric exam uh, centers and uh, it has two specified period every year to give the to do these exams one in january and the other is in june so and uh, also because of covid some people can't take this exam at home and uh, this test is basically designed to test your therapeutic choices and you will basically have a clinical scenario and you will have to write your therapeutic choices for treatment according to the Canadian therapeutic guidelines and uh, the therapeutic choices mean that it either be a medication or medication with dose or non-pharmacological approach so we will talk in a bit about what resources you can study from in order to understand and know the Canadian therapeutic guidelines so how do you apply how would you apply for this test this test is not open for anyone like everyone to to book for the exam it's actually um, done for the applicants on their behalf by pra authorities after meeting every practice ready assessment authority preliminary prerequisites meaning that um, the authority in each province that do the practice readiness assessment will make an application on the applicant's behalf to set the exam and they will instruct the applicant to pay the application fees in order to complete the application and the fees is usually 2190 Canadian dollar plus taxes so the applicant will receive scheduling permit information through their physician apply email and this will happen around six to eight weeks prior to their test date or the, to the test period in order for them to book the exam so the information will be provided for booking the exam through physician apply email but the booking itself is done through the prometric website and i advise everyone that uh, uh, sitting for this test to book their exam as soon as possible because the uh, slots or empty slots to give the to do the exam is not um, available all the time so there is some limitations in the number of seats to sit this exam so how to prepare for the therapeutic decision making test preparation mainly in my opinion is be best to do be done through compendium of pharmaceutical choices or cpc book and uh, i will just share a, a, a picture of the book cover uh, in a bit and um, also through creating scenarios 
uh, in the study in the group that's the best way in my opinion to prepare for this test and then there is this application bugs and drugs is the application that has most of the antibiotic uh, names and uh, treatment in Canada and dosages so I, I really advise for preparing for that from this uh, source and up to date of course regarding some of the guidelines for common medical conditions and uh, there are some courses that provide preparation for the therapeutic decision making test uh, so this is the CTC or therapeutic uh, company of therapeutic choices or ph pharmaceutical choices the name is changed to CPC and uh, it was CTC so it's a huge reference what I advised you to study from the flow chart for each and every condition because this is usually representing the guidelines in terms of treatment in Canada so what is the test outcome like what would be the outcome so the test is marked actually by two anonymous examiners and um, there is a benchmark for passing this exam the passing mark is said to be 58 percent out of the whole questions uh, correct answers and some pra said that it's around 62 percent it's a pass or fail exam and there is no mark and it's usually reported firstly from uh, to the PRA programs before the applicant know, came to know about it and then it will be communicated to the applicants and later on it will be uh, provided to the physicians apply account so overall right array overall passing rate is known to be low over the last few years and uh, you have only two passing trials per lifetime and every every um, time you're passing the exam you have two years to arrange for the clinical part of the practice readiness assessment that's conclude my presentation and thank you very much for listening to this presentation